Hello guys. This is awkward because there's like a, a chick right over here watching. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Melissa. It's like a sauna in here, but I don't want to open the windows because there's a chick right there and she's going to hear me talking to myself. So this might be the start of a new series. Let me know if this should be a series or do I just incorporate this into weekly vlogs? I don't know why I'm having such a hard time figuring out how I want to format this. For the past year or so, I have not been in a consistent workout routine and I feel like I talk about this all the time, but it's just because it's true. It's not like I've fallen off the map. Like I have been working out and I go through like week or month phases where I stick to a schedule pretty good, but I just, it hasn't stuck, so I just need to think of what the series would be exactly. I'm literally just getting back into it, and I think I'm really gonna focus on fitness classes because I have an unlimited membership at Oxygen Yoga, and they have really good classes. It's not yoga at all. Well, they do have yoga classes, but the ones that I take are more like HIIT training, so I signed up for one today. It's not till 4.30, it's like noon right now. I would have done a morning class, but it was just like chill classes in the morning, like actual yoga classes. So yeah, the 4.30 class is hot resistance band training. I've done this one once before and I love it. The classes there are really good, they're very intense. You sweat so much, you feel really good after. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna be doing today and I think I'm gonna try to book in maybe three or four classes this week. If you're lacking motivation, definitely try out a workout class because people there just motivate you and keep you, uh, I don't know, sometimes I go to the gym and I just want to leave after 30 minutes so I do but if you're in a class like you want to stay there for the whole thing you know and if you don't really know what you're doing at the gym there's someone leading the class so it's very helpful if you guys watched my last couple vlogs you know that we're gonna be moving really soon so I'm gonna have to get a new gym I might go back to Equinox but I heard something in the news well someone told me they heard this where the owner of Equinox and is it Soul Cycle or Ride I could be getting this totally wrong I mean I don't want to get into politics but yeah something about the owner of those companies is funding for the re-election of Trump or something and doesn't support the LGBTQ community. So people are wanting to boycott it. I need to see if that's actual facts and like, do I want to put my money into Equinox if that's a thing, you know? If you guys know about that, let me know because I'm interested to get more information. I'm just going to get a pedicure right now because my toenails are all chipping. And then when Colby's home, we're gonna go to Costco. Just need to get a couple things. So I'll show you guys what I get, just a little haul. I'm home now, I just had lunch, I should have filmed it. I haven't showed you guys what I've eaten yet today, but I will definitely share some meals and recipes with you guys in this video. But I thought I should probably do a before shot for progress. I feel like it's super hard to show before and after because it depends what time of day it is, what you ate, the, what clothes you're wearing, the lighting. I do feel like I have lost some definition in my abs, but if I flex, like I can still kind of see some definition, you know? It's all about the angles. I'm also gonna take measurements just for ultimate accuracy. I'm looking on my modeling agency's website because my measurements are on there. It says that my bust is 34, waist is 25, and hips are 36.5. We took these probably a year ago, so let's see what they are now. Okay, I'm getting 33 for bust, which makes sense. I usually get a 32D when I get bras. I'm getting 27 for waist, you guys, which is two inches more than what it used to be. I also gained 10 pounds in the last year or two, so that makes sense. Just got back from Costco. I feel like this is kind of a random haul. I'll show you guys anyways, but I couldn't carry everything up from the car. So there's still the almond milk, apple cider vinegar, and avocado oil. Why can I not say avocado? Avocado oil is in my trunk still, so I'm gonna have to go back and get that. Also, I was looking for sliced almonds and I didn't see anything. Sometimes I feel like they run out and then they just don't have it for a while because I swear I've bought and sliced almonds from there before. I also didn't see any full-size carrots, so I got a bag of baby carrots. You gotta do with what you got. Got a bag of sweet potatoes, some more almond butter. This stuff is my favorite. I go through it so much because I put it on everything and in smoothies and baking. This can be pretty expensive, so Costco is definitely the way to go. A two-pack of hot sauce, a mini flat of eggs, and ground turkey. These are for Colby, but I'll probably use some of it as well. I'm gonna make a smoothie now. This is one of my favorites. It literally tastes like cookies and cream. So if you guys are suckers for like milkshakes, I would highly recommend trying this. Where is the little blender? Blender. 
these are all the ingredients. I kind of eyeball measurements, but I'll try to give you guys an estimate. So preferably I would use a frozen banana, but I don't have one. So I'm just using a non-frozen banana. You could also use half if you want lower sugar. I am trying to eat low sugar, but I'm fine with fruit and stuff like natural sugars. So I am using a full banana. This is probably about a cup of ice. Gonna add one date. This one is not pitted, so I have to take the pit out. You could totally leave the date out as well because they are high in sugar, but I feel like it just makes it taste better. I'm adding about a tablespoon of maca powder, but I'm just eyeballing it. A scoop of vanilla protein powder, whatever brand you prefer. A tablespoon of almond butter. You could totally use cashew butter or peanut butter or something like that as well. I just love almond butter and I feel like for like a cookie flavor, actually cashew would probably be pretty good too. Some almond milk. Oh my gosh, this one's not open. I swear I have. Um, I don't add too much almond milk because I do want it to be thicker. So maybe like half a cup or three quarters that would have. I'll just see how thick that is. And then last but not least, some cacao nibs. Maybe like three tablespoons. Literally tastes like a cookies and cream milkshake. I might do a super quick blog post on this just so you guys can get the recipe easier. If I do, the link for that will be below. It'll just be easier to follow delicious. Had to move my drink to a shaker bottle because I am low on time. I am heading to my hot resistance band training now. It's gonna be an hour long. These classes are generally pretty hard. I mean, they're as hard as you make it. You can be super lazy and then, and then it's not hard, but no point in paying for a class if you're not gonna put some effort in. Just finished my workout. I'm so sweaty. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I'm um, feeling good. My screen is almost off. I know I keep saying that, but it's just like slowly falling off more and more. I'm gonna do some research when I get home because I don't want the G7X Mark II again because the screen always falls off. But I have not looked into what cameras are good right now. I don't know, is there a new G7X or something similar? But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get a new one like tomorrow. Back home now, I was gonna show you guys what I have for dinner, but um, I don't feel like making dinner. So I'm gonna go meet up with Carla. I think we're gonna go to Brown's. I'm gonna get a salad or like soup and salad or something. So yeah, I'm gonna have a shower and go do that. It is Friday now. It has not been the best week. We lost a good friend of ours on Tuesday. He was like a brother to Colby and he had a lot of people close to him. So it's just been a tough time for a lot of people. I took a few days off of vlogging life. I was gonna scrap the footage and just start this vlog next week, but I wanted to get something up on Monday and I do have like eight minutes worth of footage once it's, cause I already edited it. So I'm also in the Best Buy parking lot right now. I'm filming on my new camera. It's the same, it's the Canon G7X Mark II. I just did research, like, oh my gosh, like look at this. It's my screen. It's being held together by like some weird film strip that I don't know how that works. But yeah, I did research. I looked at the Canon M50, but I didn't really want a bigger camera. The flip up or the flip screen goes to the side as well. And like, I wouldn't be able to film on my dash like how I am now. And the Mark III is out, but people say that there's an auto focus or something. There's issues with the focusing. So I thought I would stick to what I know. Hopefully the screen doesn't fall off this one. Just got to the gym. I decided to do fasted cardio this morning. I used to be an afternoon workout kind of person. I would come here around one or two because the gym is just really dead at that time. But lately I have noticed that if I don't get it done in the morning, I just don't go. Unless I've booked in a class because then I just I feel like I need to go you have to pay five dollars if you skip But uh, getting it done so that I can't skip it later I'm gonna try to be here for an hour or at least 45 minutes I do want to properly film this video So maybe I'll restart on Monday and do like a I don't even know what I'm gonna call it I need to cancel my membership here since I'm moving and I really want to sign up at Equinox so I'm gonna do a little bit of research into what I was talking about earlier to see if that's facts or not
back from a quick cardio session. I also stopped by the grocery store, just picked up a few things. Just some fruit, cow nibs, sliced almonds, turkey, and wraps. Please excuse the huge mess in my kitchen right now. I just have not gotten around to cleaning it, but um, probably do that today. This is technically my breakfast, although it's more of a lunch food, but I'm going to be making a wrap. I'm just using one of the spinach triple baked wraps. Because you guys can't really see what's going on here. I'm adding hummus to the wrap. This is a great alternative for sauces. It's just like a lot healthier. And it still gives you like that creamy texture and a lot of flavor. I'm going to be adding three of these turkey slices. Tika, just run over here. It's not for you. A few little slices of cucumber. Some mini tomatoes, I'm gonna cut these in half first. A bunch of alfalfa sprouts, I love these. I kind of go through phases where I buy them. They taste super good on bagels. They just give a nice little crispy crunch. So that is my wrap, technically breakfast. I'm also gonna make a bulletproof coffee and that's what I'm gonna be having this morning. Mm. You guys gotta try this with the turkey and hummus. You can put whatever veggies in. I definitely go through phases of what I like to eat, but right now I could eat these every day. I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. A lot of you guys were also commenting that you do want moving vlogs. I said I didn't wanna overdo it because I literally just moved in here and I filmed a bunch of that, but you guys said you want more moving vlogs, so I'll definitely document the move, but I also just wanna get back into a routine and I don't wanna use moving as an excuse to why I'm not working out. So I'm still gonna try to get the fitness content as well as the moving content, so keep your eyes out for that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys want more vlogs, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next Monday.